Hey lads and ladies, I'm the Jawsome One and welcome to Die Young. This is merely the prologue and it looks like a very, it's, it's a horror game made by a very accomplished developer where we play as a kidnapped young lady and our goal is either we escape or we die young. So let's get right into this with the prologue. I've mentioned already that this is a pretty well accomplished this is developer. Not how it was supposed to be. Who am I kidding? The plan sucked all along. Okay, so she doesn't look to be too young. Maybe about teenager, thirteen. Thinking about how things should have gone, but. <laughs> Wishful thinking ain't gonna change shit. Today, I die on this island. She's on Jeffrey Epstein's island. Fucking dogs. I hope Gadir did his part. Alright, so we must journey onwards. Press left shift to run. Oh, you tap it, okay. And I can sprint toggle on and off and change other configurations. That's very nice. I'll, I'll make sure to do that if I decide to actually play this game officially. Space bar to climb. E. I have a stick. Why would I want to swing it? Is there something up ahead? Oh, there is. There's little rats. And I can crouch. Die, you rat vermin! Oh, what? That, that was a miss? Yep. Okay. Yep, C to crouch. Okay, well, what about... Okay, that area is sealed. Okay, cool. This is the way to go. And she's got a lighter. You know, there was gasoline back there. I could probably have used that on those dogs. Probably. The hell is that? It's probably water. It's water. Like what you see at the swimming pool. Can't see. Oh, there we go. I'm really happy. I got this game for free. These developer the developer is also pretty cool. I went to the Steam page to do a quick little bit of research on it, make sure I knew what it was I was playing. Alright, wrench. How do I swap between ah uh, okay. Scroll bar. So the stick has taken some damage, wrench hasn't. I'm assuming that's what that, that green bar is. So the stick is damaged. And I'm assuming the wrench will do more damage. I'm not sure what else the point would be for taking it. I'll keep the stick. Who knows what's up ahead, right? Oh, there's more mice. Okay. You know, why would I want to hit the mice? I'm just saying. Why would I want to? It's not like they've done anything to me. They didn't attack me, even when I was striking them. Uh huh. I don't like the way they just ran up to me like that. That felt like they were gonna attack me. Uh oh. Get the wrench. I don't trust that. Whenever I hear crying in a horror game, it never goes well. can't help him. He would get us both killed. He seems very sad. The poor man. I played too much Skyrim. My instinct whenever I do anything is go stealth mode. Especially in a horror game. Yeah, okay. I see. Okay. Nice. Ooh, can I select things with the number keys? I can. I haven't mentioned the developer's name. Hold on. Actually, real quick, let me uh, alt-tab here and look and get get the developer name. Okay, the guy's name is Indy Gala. Indy Gala. Looks like it could be spelled Indy Gaia. And let's see, the, the games, his, some of his most accomplished games, he's made Blockstorm, Red Rope, Don't Fall Behind, 
Gates of Nowhere. I feel like I've heard of Gates of Nowhere before. Staying Alive, Downward. I think I've heard of Downward before too, but I don't know. It's so hard to tell. There's so many games these days. I think this is it. Yeah, he's only made eight games. I gotta say though, very impressed by the looks of this one, Die Young. So now I have a, a path split here. I could go that way. I could sprint and jump, or I could see what's behind this door. Okay, there is no choice. <laughs> I can craft new items. Cool. Good. Ah. Scrap metal. Rope. I can craft another knife. I can craft a torch. And I can craft a Molotov. Alright. Objective of escape the island. The whole plane went south. They're already onto my trail. I have to get off this island now. Find the exit of the sewers. Hey! Empty bottle. I can craft that Molotov now. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, I'm missing fuel now? What? I thought I had I thought I had one earlier. I don't need to shake around like that. I only jumped at the lowest rung. <laughs> Hell yeah. Did I actually take damage from that? Are you Oh okay, no, it's fine. I saw that little uh, icon on the lower left. I'll play it back for you guys in editing, but it, it looked like I thought she had taken damage, but I guess it's like her stamina or something else. Ah! Hell yeah. I also need to find out, will these things actually attack me? Oh, they will! I, I was totally justified in killing these things earlier. Yeah, so the red, the red bar is her health, and then that, that gray is like her... I guess stamina. Use left highlight to highlight climbable holds. Okay. Oh, yeah. I should probably get out of... Oh, I was out of crouch. I see. Boom. Boom lay. Boom lay. Boom. The pointer changes to tell to show me that it's safe to jump on. Okay. So then left alt doesn't really do much for me. Just sort of helps me pre-plan things out, I guess, before I start jumping around. I need to stop doing that. I, I need to stop crouching all the time. I can't help it, guys. It's in my nature. The exit. Finally. Mm-hmm. Ooh, padlocks can be broken with crowbars. Well, let me use the crowbar. Can I... Ah, there we go. That's how I do it. Yeah, padlocks can be broken with... Oh. Ah. Nice. Okay, so that... Is that the exit or is this the exit? Okay, that's the exit. So let's see what's down here then. Awesome, I can just auto craft these. Yeah, I need an empty bottle. And of course, yeah, I can pick up way more fuel. Interesting, so what's the max amount of fuel I can hold? Is there like a, an icon for that? I don't see it anywhere. Crafted crowbar could make it better than this. Okay, that's pretty neat. Why is the music getting creepy? Please, no. Oh, gosh. You know, this looks like a pretty good situation for a Molotov. Press the middle mouse button to throw objects. Okay. Let's wait until they're all nice and in a group. You know, hold on. This looks like... This looks like the story is meant to continue this way. Let's see what happens if I go back up to the... Will you... Thank you. Yeah. What the... I figured... You, Kadir. you have one job! Fuck. Gotta find another way. Damn you, Kadir! I think he already knows I'm here. Uh-huh. So he doesn't. Who am I? Get away. I don't want to go to school anymore. 
what? All right, let's do this. All right, so now it's time for a bandage. Wait, is it time? I don't know how much these things will heal. I'd rather hold on to it for as long as I can. I'm so used to playing whenever I get these games. I'm so used to them being just absolutely woo. Pretty. Whole plan went south. Okay, go past the harbor. Okay, so that guy doesn't see nothing. You don't see nothing, officer. I'm just a girl. Oh, jeez. Oh, that's not a campfire. Oh, gosh. So he is facing... Yeah, keep a low profile. Use tall grass and plants. Ooh, they're like... I like how they, they bend away as you walk through them. He does turn. He does turn his head and his body. Don't see anything, sir. Man, that looks like he should be able to see me. I wonder if I... Fuck! Fuck. Ow! Damn! I should have known that the rock was going to be so short of a throw. That is really pathetic. I, I need to be able to... There should be like a power gauge for how far you can throw the rock. What was I thinking, throwing that rock? I should have just tried to sneak up to him. Okay, um... Now do I use the med kit? No, I'm actually not that badly hurt. Pressing middle mouse button will throw a stone you're holding... If you're holding a melee weapon, yeah. Shit! Damn it. Oh, wow. Wow, he's very easy to get away from. Let me just use this real quick. He took out a quarter of my health in one hit. There we go. Nothing for me that way. I saw that there was a second guy. I'm not sure where he would be. Shit. Nobody's coming around. So there's that second guy. Oh. Yeah, I need to just hide. Ooh, it's a guy with a dog.
Okay, so I've made it to the top of this thing. So now I can get a good view of my surroundings. This is the archer lady. There's her dog. I, I, I think I'm supposed to get out there. There is a dude that's collapsed over there. Archer lady and her dog are just about to walk past here. Yep, there they go. So that dude is obviously on the ground. He's injured. No. It's a dog. Oh, I misunderstood that entirely. Did they see me? No. Damn! Okay. Okay. Had to be done. Had to be done. Ooh. Oh, this is quiver and arrows. Can I get a bow? Come on. You're not gonna give me a bow? <gasps> you are gonna give me a bow. Oh, you know what? Yeah. What? There. There we go. So I went the right way the first time. Or not, not, I, by coming down here. My mistake. What are you gonna do? You gonna come up here and get me? serious really this is ridiculous no what are you kidding me <laughs> really oh man how does those guards outside not hear that
Aha. So you can charge up a, a stronger swing by holding the left mouse click. That's something they didn't teach in the tutorial. You saw how much damage I just did to that last guy. Oh, I'm supposed to jump onto that, aren't I? No, wait, no. So, those boards make it look like I should just be able to just jump onto that building. Like, no big deal, just, just jump onto that building. I'm gonna go for it. See, there's an open vent here. Ah, there's the key. Molotovs, baby. Around 2 p.m., some workers began to show an unusually aggressive attitude toward the guards. It started out as an isolated case that was nipped in the bud. However, over the next hour, an increase of aggressiveness and confusion has been observed among the majority of workers. There have been violent clashes in the outside area of the harbor. Two of our men died during the attempt to isolate some of the workers inside the sewers. The most aggressive subjects in the harbor area have promptly been neutralized and brought outside for disposal. The rest have been confined inside the fuel storage tanks enclosure and the laboratory facility. Workers that didn't show signs of, of imbalance were brought back to the labor camp. The situation is stable, but we are understaffed. Reinforcements are requested to replace the casualties. Casualty report, two dead guards, six injured, and one lab technician missing. 16 dead workers, 28 isolated, and eight missing. Ooh, that's pretty bad. What I really need is a med kit. Can't carry any more items, huh? Probably something to do with all these random batons I have. How do I drop them? Is there a way I can drop them? Discard, okay. I can drop... Uh, I can drop this uh, used... Dis this is, and I can, I'll probably drop the stick as well. There we go. Canned food. Okay, what's that going to do for us? E, let's, let's use it. That's what I figured this is going to do. I, I, that's what I have, right? No, these are beer bottles. Okay. You know, it's funny, I was starting to wonder when carrying capacity was going to start to become a problem. Okay, I can just take the elevator up or I can climb up the ladder. Well, something in my gut tells me I should probably go with the ladder. Oh, you know what? This is going to give me more health, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Oh, each of these actually takes up one whole inventory slot? Wow. Wow, I did not know that. That's lame. Alright, I'll drop one of those so I can take it. Ah, do I need to kill those convicts? Oh, hello. <laughs> Should probably hide before I read this document. There we go. Workers list. Ship. Athena. ETA. August 21st, 6 o'clock. Name, genders, note, all new workers must immediately be taken to the jails of the military camp under Brother Number 2's supervision. Oh, okay. I'm not sure what this is going to offer for us. There we go. That takes care of him.
checks. Do you guys remember that stick I dropped? Like, oh, never mind, we're fine. I still can't see anything. Wow, torches are totally useless. Why would I use a torch when I have a, a lighter? That was scary. That was actually kind of scary. What did we learn today, children? Oh, jeez. Massacre on aisle 40. Holy shit, totally right now. I can see. Oh, hell yeah. This takes me right outside, really? Wait, you mean to tell me this whole time I could have just taken the elevator? No, I guess not. Elevator broke. Elevator broke. Elevator machine broke. Oh, hey, buddy. Let me just uh, wait for you two. Yeah, come on. Just walk on by. Walk right on by. Oh, beautiful. Oh wow, this is from forever ago. You remember when I took out all these guys all the way over here? Wow. But now I get all their arrows. I think I was a pretty good amount of arrows, I gotta say. I gotta say. Really? Oh no. Alright, I got it. Like this. Thick grassy fields. Nowhere to truly hide. This looks like a like a battlefield area. I didn't mean to fall in. <laughs> I was trying to avoid that. I'm gonna cut what I just saw out of the video just to make sure you guys don't get spoiled before because I believe I just got spoiled. Oh no. Oh shit, 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 shit. How the fuck am I gonna get off this island now? Well, they left the boat. Take the boat. Sledgehammer, bro. Shit. Okay. Hmm. 
Hell yeah. I have the perfect glitch spot. He can't see me. But I got my sights on him. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Hold on, you just you just wait right there, sir. I do find the combat to be a bit broken. It seems to me like if you're in combat, the enemy is just always going to be able to hit you. So I'm just going to fire all my arrows at this guy, basically. Ooh. Oh, he moved. I love the fact that just by letting them spot me a little bit early on. <laughs> what if I get a headshot? Headshot don't do jack. Look at that. Oh no, that did do extra damage. I have to like aim for his neck. <laughs> Boom. Oh, please. Oh. There we go. Ah! What? Really? There you are. Yeah, I think I have to leave by those sewers down there. I think that's how I'm intended to leave. Right over here, right? Yeah. There we go. Look at how good the harpoon would be. Hell yeah. Realized. Bastards made quite a mess yesterday. Brother number two is blaming me, of course. By the way, trying to kill brother number one was a bold move. I'd give you that. But it needs more than a sharpened pencil to kill the man. some fun with him too will he be tougher than you i bet he won't yes can't brother number two deal with them yes yes i'm coming Get out of here. Come on, Mia. 
You can do it. You've seen worse. Come on! Damn it! Okay. Almost there. Almost there. Okay, so uh, that, that, that wasn't the main character. That was the main character's mother? I don't know. The inner critic is coming out of me and wanting to, to like, point out a little weirdness in the writing. But... I like this game. I like it. And if you like it, you might just enjoy the actual game. Again, it's on Steam. It's like 13 bucks right now. Maybe 14, something like that. So if she's not our main protagonist in the actual game, then who is? Uh, who is gonna be the main protagonist? I always roll through the credits. It's my way of trying to give some respect to the developers. So that's the prologue to Indie Gala. Or to, that's the prologue to Die Young by Indie Gala. Again, let me know via likes, via comments. Hell, even watch time is a pretty good indicator for me about whether or not you guys are actually enjoying this. <laughs> 